Opponents of undocumented immigration claim that, quote, illegal aliens are invading America, causing a new wave of crime, stealing jobs for American workers, committing widespread identity theft, and bankrupting our government-run social uh, service programs. While it is true that undocumented immigra immigration causes some of the problems I just mentioned, uh, or, or while it is true that undocumented immigration causes some problems, they are not the problems I just mentioned. Further, the problems undocumented immigration actually does cause can be easily solved through a legalization program that would divert illegal flows through legal channels. This is a much better approach than wasting money to deport undocumented workers and militarize the border. So is there a way of immigrant crime? There are many, many studies uh, that show that as immigration increases in a certain city, both legal and undocumented immigration, that the violent crime rate actually drops, places like Los Angeles, Phoenix, etc. Secondly, are undocumented immigrants invading our country? Uh, an invasion is when uh, an army comes, invades the country, uses uh, weapons and violence, kills people, steals land, etc. Now that's uh, to say that someone invaded our country, that's a good description of what the European settlers did when they came to this continent, but it's not a good description of what undocumented immigrants are doing. They're coming here peacefully, they're not killing anybody, they're not stealing anyone's land, they're just here to work and uh, make a living for themselves and their families. Uh, the next point is, are undocumented immigrants stealing jobs? Uh, James Smith, who was a senior economist at the Rand Corporation, which is a very, very conservative um, think tank linked to the government, uh, it's, not, it's not like some socialist uh, organization by any stretch of the United Nation. Uh, this guy, James Smith, a uh, senior economist at the Rand Corporation, stated that, quote, no credible estimate exists that shows immigrants cause unemployment. This is because with increases in low skilled immigration, the U.S. economy expands, creating more jobs in higher skilled areas. As a result, some U.S. workers now in low paying jobs would move up to these better paying jobs and actually reduce the wage pressure on low skilled U.S. workers who remain in those low skilled jobs. So it's wrong to think of there being a finite number of jobs in the economy and each time an undocumented worker takes a job, that that then steals a job from an American worker. Um, what about lowering wages? That is, uh, well, let me just quote this. According to a Wall Street Journal survey, 81% of economists believe that undocumented workers lower wages for skilled workers only slightly or not at all. So there is some effect there, but it's not a catastrophic effect that is causing mass unemployment and causing native uh, low skilled workers to be getting paid you know, half of what they otherwise would be. Um, Additionally, by enforcing laws with businesses saying that they can't hire undocumented workers, trying to enforce that, basically what uh, companies do, a lot of them is turn to contract work. They don't want to be responsible for hiring these workers directly because they can get prosecuted under the law for that, so they hire contractors who take that risk, hire these undocumented workers and uh, native workers. Those contractors take a cut of the wages and also pay these people in cash, so that, can, that encourages more and more workers, both uh, legal and undocumented, to not pay uh, taxes as they should. So that's a direct consequence of trying to enforce these laws against employers, and it leads actually to lower wages for workers. So that's been the case since 1986, uh, when IRCA was passed. Um, so the key is not to prevent low-skilled immigrants from entering the job market, but rather to improve the social safety net education and unemployment benefits for low-skilled native workers who have difficulty finding employment, as well as promoting unionization to increase wages for all workers. Uh, next, are undocumented immigrants bankrupting our social services? The Congressional Budget Office notes that, quote, the net impact of the unauthorized population on state and local budgets is most likely modest. So there is a cost to pay for education and emergency medical care for undocumented immigrants, but again, it's modest, it's not bankrupting our system. In addition, undocumented workers pay a lot of money to the federal government 
in uh, Social Security and Medicare taxes that they will then never see and never get any benefit from. So undocumented workers contribute a lot to the Social Security Fund, basically keeping Social Security solvent for the native workers, even though, again, these workers won't see any benefit from that. Roughly $7 billion a year gets contributed by these workers to this fund. So even though undocumented immigrants do impose a burden on state and local governments, they contribute a lot of money to the federal government. So again, the response to this problem should not be to just deport all these undocumented immigrants, but rather to force the federal government to pitch in and help out with education and emergency medical costs. Um, a lot of people are upset at the idea that undocumented workers uh, don't pay taxes. That's not, uh, that's not true. Six million undocumented workers file uh, income tax returns every year, and again, they do pay a lot of Social Security taxes. That being said, there's also a lot of undocumented workers that don't pay taxes. They do work under the table, they get cash, etc. But again, the response isn't to waste a lot of money trying to deport these people. The solution is to legalize them, give them a tax ID uh, so that they can get an above the table job and go ahead and start paying the taxes, go, go ahead and start paying their fare of taxes. Uh, the next problem that's often cited in regards to undocumented undocu workers is identity theft. Undocumented workers, again because of that rule uh, starting with, in, in 1986 with the law that was passed called IRCA, Employers have to you know, verify that workers have a social security number. So obviously undocumented workers, they get a fake social security number uh, so that they can work and pay taxes. Now, this is, that is very, very different from identity theft. Identity theft is when you get not only someone's social security number, you also get their name, you get their address, their date of birth, you try to access their bank accounts online, you try to take out loans in their name, take out credit cards in their name, which you just you know, run up a bill of a couple thousand dollars and never pay back and then ruin someone else's credit. If you are just working on someone else's social security number and you don't even know whose social security number that is, again, really all that's doing is allowing you to pay taxes, uh, which actually helps the federal government. Now, there are a few you know, minor uh, problems that do result from that, which we can go into perhaps later, but again, the solution would be to give effort to legalize these workers, give them a tax ID number so that they don't need to take someone else's social security number and use that to work. So legalization, again, is the solution rather than deportation. So what are the real problems with undocumented immigration? Uh, there are a lot of needless deaths that result from undocumented immigration. By militarizing the border, the flow of undocumented migrants has not increased at all. However, this has pushed migrants from trying to cross the border in urban areas to having to cross in more rural, desert, dangerous areas, and this has led to more deaths. Um, for example, in 2005, um, a total of 472 migrants died while attempting to cross the border just because we insist on militarizing it rather than legalizing uh, and allowing people to come and work. The next problem is exploitation. Oh, you don't have time uh, because undoc undocumented workers have no legal rights, they have no redress when employers steal their wages or sexually harass them. They are often fired or reported to ICE officials to be deported for attempting to organize unions or for complaining about unsafe work conditions. Because undocumented labor is underground, it allows literally slave-like conditions to flourish. Many undocumented workers could perhaps be better described as indentured servants or slaves. So again, the way to prevent that type of slavery is not to militarize the border and deport these people, but rather legalize them and allow them to work in the above ground economy. So I'll just go ahead and finish up and say there's a few things that I had to leave out, but that undocumented immigration is not a threat to our nation. There are big problems with the status quo, but what needs to happen again is legalization so that workers can form unions, so that there's both undocumented immigrants and workers and also native workers can both uh, you know, have the chance to fight for better working conditions and better wages rather than having working class divided and allowing big business to exploit undocumented labor uh, as they're able to do uh, currently.